Sorry you had to wait so long for another video. It's because I just lost um, the video that I prepared for you. It was on the computer, it was just one copy and when the computer broke, I just lost it. So it's a good reminder for future to just save um, somewhere else, whatever you're making, it's essay or just writing your thesis or making a video, it doesn't matter what it is, just make another copy because you're gonna be really sorry like I was. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to apologize for that. And then, yes, yeah, so today I wanted to talk about tools, like basic tools to start making jewelry. Keep watching and I hope you will enjoy this video. <laughs> So, do you need a lot of different tools to start making jewellery, like silver, copper, etc? I would say yes and no. <laughs> Obviously, you do need some basic tools to start creating, but you don't need like fully equipped studio from day one. That would be a dream, but if you're like me and you don't want to invest all of your money from the beginning, you just want to try it out, see how that goes, or just have fun and not trying every single technique that there is, then I will tell you which tools I got from the beginning and they were absolutely enough for me to start. I started needing some other tools along the way, but I think that's what this is all about, right? You just try something and then you see what you need to get next. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you what I got. I will also tell you where I got it from, how much it was, what was more useful or what I wish I got from the beginning, but I just got it later because I didn't know that it was really important to get it. Keep watching and I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> So this is my very first set of tools. As you can see, it's very basic. I only got some soldering tools there, some hammers and pliers, some piles. So it wasn't much. And soon after, I realized that I need another set. So this is my second batch of tools. As you can see, it's mostly measuring tools, really important, and shaping tools. And that is a tripod, which I'm using for soldering. It's really helpful. Here we have this cutter, saw and saw blade, different pliers, hammers, burnishers, and different shapes and sizes of metal shaping mandrels. All of these are extremely helpful and necessary when shaping your metal. So these are my soldering bits. All of these are absolutely enough to start soldering and creating jewellery. I've been using every each and one of them so far. And always remember safety first. So goggles, glasses, you know, face mask and gloves are really important when silver sleeping. For polishing, I've been using these emery papers and emery sticks. They come in different grades from coarse to fine. I also have some polishing gloves, but the most important tool that I have which really was a game changer for me is this rotary tool and um, for this you can get different bits but the best ones were these abrasive discs they also come in different grades from coarse to fine and they're excellent with smaller bits so this is just a guide really. Obviously the prices will depend on where you live. I live in United Kingdom and here I shop mostly at Cooks on Gold and Amazon. I know in United States you'd be probably looking at Rio Grande. I know they have excellent supplies and tools, so that would be the best place to go.
guys this is all for today i hope you enjoyed watching it i hope you learned something new if you have any questions at all just remember to comment in the comment section below just ask anything i'll try to answer and also if you have any re requests of what you would like to see next then also by all means let me know yeah i really hope you enjoyed it Take care, have a lovely week and see you next time. Bye.